Right. The worst thing a man can do, showing desperation, but he could show her he wants her back in a more masculine way. See, see, so 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 Nadia would say the worst thing a man can do, showing desperation, but he could show he wants her back in a more masculine way. No, just wait for the woman to come back to you. What? Oh, so you can't wait for the woman to come back to you. What you're not man enough to stand on your own two feet? Yeah. You're not, you're not man enough to be on your own. Yeah. A part of being a man is being able to survive on your fucking own. Yeah. Where do you think this long wolf term comes from? Yeah, they need to pluck it out of thin air. Oh, yeah, long wolf, because it sounds cool. You're, you're supposed to be in a position where you can live on your own, on your jack, survive on your own. You don't need a woman around you. Yeah. There's certain men, right? If they was in my position, they would have their woman living with them. Yeah. Because they just need companionship. I don't need none of that bullshit. Yeah. I like my own space. So for me to be alone in a house, in a three bedroom house on my own, 24 seven, pretty much, right? That's fine by me, yeah? But you can't fake that shit. It's either you are like that or not, yeah? And if you always need companionship, that's a feminine trait, yeah? What did I say earlier, yeah? A woman would rather keep her children in a, quote unquote dangerous area just so that she has companionship with her friends and family members all who live local with her rather than move out to Timbuktu and have nobody apart from maybe just her boyfriend or husband or whatever in it. Yeah. Because women need companionship. Companionship is a feminine trait. Yeah. When I watched that program 60 Days In, now they do have um prison cells where there's all 10 men in a prison cell. Don't get it twisted, innit? But one thing they said, right, which you can relate to the animal kingdom as well, right, is basically in animal kingdom, because oh, I used to have a problem with rats, right? So I was watching some videos about rats, and basically the man said the male rats, they're solitary, yeah? Again, independent, lone wolves, quote-unquote, yeah? Lone rats, quote-unquote, yeah? The male rats will eat food on their own, yeah? They don't care about sharing food, but the, the, the female rats, they like to collect their food and, and eat together, right? That's a feminine trait, companionship, yeah? Even in 60 days in, yeah, the women, right, they like to have their cells and make the cells. So basically, I have a cell with six women and it's more like a family rather than cellmates, yeah? They treat each other like their family, yeah? That's all feminine energy, all of that companionship and that wanted to build a family, that's all like feminine energy. A part of being a man yeah, is being able to survive on your own. Not with your cousin, not with your dad, not with your mum, not with your gal, on your own. Yeah, you're a man, yeah, you need to be able to stand on your own two feet. Yeah? Simply because of this, right? The reason why a woman needs to know, this is why women break up with men, right? To see if they can survive on their own, yeah? Emotionally, yeah? See if they're stable, yeah? If you want to test the strength of a man emotionally, yeah? Get his woman to break up with him, yeah? I don't give a fuck how big and strong you are. I don't give a fuck how big your fist is, yeah? Or how much you can bench press, yeah? That's not true strength, yeah? Because certain man, they're just blessed with, yeah, a big bicep or, yeah? I've got one, 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 one mad haymaker on them, innit, yeah? Not a lot of men have a strong heart or a strong mind, yeah? You find, you, if you want to test out a man's strength, yeah, in terms of his mind or and or his heart, whatever, and get his girlfriend to break up with him, yeah? You'll find out how strong a man is, yeah? A woman needs to know, say, right? If everything fucks up, yeah, their life is in turmoil. Is this guy going to stay strong or is he going to panic? Yeah. If he panics, yeah, that is weakness. Yeah. If he panics, right, that is not good for survival. Yeah. That woman's going to think to herself, well, if we're in a relationship and we have children, right, and things go bad, right, he's not going to be there. He's not going to be a stable person. Remember, women are unstable. Yeah, so they need a stable man. Yeah, they can't. You can't have two unstable people in a relationship. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, a woman will think to herself subconsciously as well. If I die, if the woman dies, right, she needs a stable person to look after the offspring. Yeah, she. God forbid a woman dies and the man's an unstable man. Yeah, how's he gonna look after the offspring? Yeah, so a woman needs to be with a man who's who who who's strong. Yeah. 
And strong ain't got nothing to do with how much you can bench press or how hard you can punch a man in the face. That ain't got nothing to do with strength. Strength is an internal thing, yeah? It's a mental thing. It's what's in your heart, yeah? That's true strength, yeah? True strength. I know, man, yeah? Tough man, yeah? Yeah? Man, you can't fuck with them. And they're like five foot four, yeah? Because up here, yeah? They're strong, yeah? Man in my area, yeah? I ain't gonna fling no names or nothing like that. But if I say the person's name, people all around London will know this person because his name is so distinctive. And when you go to jail for a long time, you just meet man from everywhere, innit? Like, I've all been in jail and met rappers that I listen to their music and clocked after. It's, right, that's my man or whatever, innit, yeah? Tough man, yeah? Because of his mind and his heart, yeah? In a fight, you'll knock him out, yeah? But... That's what you're going to have to do, yeah? Because he's a tough man, isn't it? Yeah, you, you can't prick him, you can't, yeah? You, you can't disrespect him or nothing like that, yeah? Win, lose, or draw, you're going to fight him, whatever. That's the mentality every man needs to have. This is why I say, you see this mentality, right? Now, we're going to get on to the black thing now, yeah? You see this mentality, oh, because I'm black, I have to work twice as hard or whatever, isn't it? yeah? Cool. Um... You know, if I'm black, then I don't get these opportunities because of the colour of my skin or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. Let's say it's true, yeah. That should not deter you from success. That should not deter you from pushing yourself. That should not deter you from striving to be the best version of yourself. Yeah. A part of being a man is overcoming adversity, yeah. Overcoming hard times, yeah. Defying the odds, yeah. That, that this is what I'm saying. This is the mindset, yeah, of a real man, of a man who's going to be a successful man, right? It's not about being a billionaire or a millionaire, yeah, but reaching, making sure he becomes the best version of himself, right? You need to have a strong mindset. A woman doesn't want to reproduce a weak-minded man because that weak-mindedness is going to infect the children, right? How is a weak-minded man going to raise strong-minded children? I don't see how that's possible, right? Because women are not strong-minded, yeah? So forget about them, yeah? Men were supposed to be strong-minded. So if a man is weak-minded, right, how is he going to raise strong-minded children? I don't see how it's possible, right? You have a 100 weak-minded children, um, weak-minded men, right? More than likely, all the children that come from those men are going to be weak-minded, yeah? Shit like, oh, YouTube shadow bans me and shit like that, yeah? So I can't become the best YouTuber that I want, right? That's a weak mind, right? Like, you know, you should think to yourself, I'm going to try harder or try something else. No, these men will just give up and not try nothing at all. Or, oh, because I'm black, I can't get anywhere in this workplace or whatever, yeah? So I'm not going to try nothing else. I'm not going to try and be the best version of myself, yeah? I'm just going to just accept that I'm a failure because of the colour of my skin and not strive for more. Yeah? That is a weak mind, right? That don't produce strong-minded children. Yeah? All of this, oh, because I'm not that good looking or I don't have that much money, I can't get a girl. That's weak-mindedness. You don't have to be the richest man or the tallest man or the best looking man to get girls, yeah? If you got a strong mindset, yeah, yeah, you might not attract all the women, but once women get around you, they're like, rah, you know what? Yeah, that's a that's a tough man, you know. Like that that strong mindedness is attractive. Yeah. Trust me, there's nothing more attractive than a man who's got a strong mind. Yeah. That's why when guys start acting weak, their woman breaks up with them. Yeah? It's all it's all relative. Yeah? When a man loses his confidence, loses that mental strength, yeah. She breaks up with him. When she puts him under the test, yeah, is he going to crack? Is he going to break if I break up with him, right? And he thinks that I've left him for good, right? Is he going to come begging me back? Is he strong enough to stand on his own two feet or not? 